Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to see a very nice attacking game by Grandmaster Daniel Dubov. He's a Russian Grandmaster and a very strong player. He played with white pieces e4 and against him is uh, Wesley So He replied e5, a solid opening, knight to c3, Vienna, this is the Vienna and uh, mainly black white's idea is to play f4 in the next move but after knight to f6 Dubov this is his style how he's attacking he, ta he is trying to trick his opponent to confuse him and now he didn't play the most natural move f4 but he played d4 in order to strike in the center he captures so capture on e takes uh, d4 queen takes d4 so replied with knight to c6 and now Dubov has to retreat the queen and he plays this move queen to d3 the most normal move here is to play d5 of course and uh, strike in the center and uh, of course uh, you should not capture the pawns immediately but care about your development and for that reason Dubov is to continue uh, develop his pieces bishop to f4 d, d takes e4 and now we have from Dubov Queen takes d8, check. Knight takes d8 and uh, he captured back this pawn, his sacrificed pawn, and now the material is equal. Bishop takes c7. Bishop to b4, and this is another very logical move because uh, black would like to double this pawn, pawns in the queen side, but before that, Dubov castling long, and uh, by this move, he is threatening the knight on uh, d8. For that reason, black should do something. He cannot capture immediately on c3. He played knight to c6, and now he played bishop to b5. And now black uh, played... Uh, he captured on c3 and uh, this is not a very good move and if you like to play like Dubov, you are very welcome to pause the video now and try to think what is his next move. And his next move is rook to d8, an, an amazing move because now the knight is pinned, he cannot move, it cannot move and cannot capture the rook. And uh, after that, white is attacking the king, skewering the rook in the corner. So he has to go on e7, he captured the rook on uh, h8 and now bishop to e5, he is trying to exchange this very strong piece, the bishop, and now you have to calculate again what are you going to do here with white, because you should be extremely careful. What do you think? And it's very bad to capture immediately on e5, because after that black can recapture on e5, bishop to e2 for example, or something like that, because black is threatening to play a knight to g4 and after that to capture the pawn on e2, so we are trying to prevent it, but uh, he can play knight to g6, and now the rook is trapped, because cannot go anywhere, here black control all of these uh, squares, and similarly he is protecting the h7 pawn, so black will be better there, uh, he should uh, give back the exchange, and for that reason he captured on c6, this is the best move, bishop takes e6, and now he has uh, option to go back with the bishop, bishop to a4, and you can see how powerful this rook is, he is spinning this bishop, and uh, we can continue developing our pieces, and uh, here white have uh, a better position, a6, knight to e2, b5, bishop b3, everything is very normal, bishop to b6, attacking the f2 pawn, of course it's important to protect your pawns, rook f1, and now bishop to b7, he is uh, offering the rooks exchange, of course, Dubov uh, captures the rook, rook takes a8, bishop takes a8, c3, a normal move, knight g4, attacking twice here on, um, uh, on f2, and similarly he is attacking the h2 pawn, so he played knight to d4, a very nice move, because offering the exchange in order to liquidate the position and uh, drive to poor end game, and uh, he captured on h2, and now rook h1, he is attacking the knight, and be behind the knight, this, uh, behind the knight here, he would like to capture the pawn on h7, so he played bishop to c7 in order to protect the knight, keep pieces in the board, try to complicate it, so, play, so played it uh, very well the black player so so knight to f5 this is a check king f6 knight to e3 protecting everything and now he would like to offer other exchanges for example he is threatening now to play bishop to d5 and uh, he is attacking 
the bishop, for example, I'll play a crazy move like that. He is offering here the exchange of the bishops and uh, he has to recapture and now he has a double attack. He's attacking the king and the bishop and when he captures the bishop he will be able to capture the knight. So if you like to play attacking chess like Dubov you should calculate the tactics. It's very important. Bishop to f4 tried to pin the knight and uh, he played g3. Now he would like to destroy this coordination because the knight Sorry, the knight on h2 is unprotected and he would like to capture the knight with uh, the rook. Bishop takes a 3, f takes a 3 and knight to g4. It looks no normal because uh, he would like to capture the pawn on a 3. And now it's uh, a question for you again. What are you going to do with white? And uh, Dubov here played the best move. Rook f1 and I hope you find it. Try to play like Dubov. Try to play attacking chess. No, try to, you should not try to defend passively the pawn with rook e1 or with queen d2. You are trying to attack. And after this check, the king goes on g6 and he captures a pawn on f7 and say, okay, you can capture my pawn on e3, but my rook is very active and he was planned to go on a7 and right now he is attacking the bishop and similarly the a6 pawn and uh, black here have a lot, a lot of uh, problems. He played this move, bishop to d5, he doesn't have any other move because he cannot go on... Um, a b7, the rook will capture the bishop and if he goes here, for example, on uh, c6, this is a very bad move because Dubov can create another very strong tactic. The pin, the rook, the bishop is unprotected now and he will capture the bishop in the next move. So, uh, it was uh, the so player, he was forced to exchange the pieces with bishop to d5, rook takes a6, king f5 and uh, you should uh, think and evaluate your options in uh, chess because chess is a game of uh, options and here of course we can capture the bishop on d5 but Dubov didn't play that, he played the move king d2 he is trying to complicate again the game, he is attacking the knight and uh, put some problems to black, he give a check on f1 Daniel Dubov uh, plays on, uh, played the move king e1, he captured here on b3 and again you can see that uh, Daniel has a lot, a lot of options now and he captured on f1 with the king, captured on f1, bishop c4, this is a check and uh, hopefully we have this pawn here on, uh, b on uh, b5 and it protects the rook because if uh, this pawn is missing then you can see that this is a double attack but uh, unfortunately black have this pawn and this is very good for white king to f2, h5 and now you have to find another plan what are you going to do now? you have your rook but uh, you didn't want the game you need to fight a little more what are you going to do? And the best plan here is to create a passed pawn, he played a4, b takes a4, rook takes a4, and now he has a passed pawn, the b pawn, and uh, he would like to push forward this pawn. Of course the bishop is under attack, for that reason he goes on uh, d3, rook d4, g5, b4, h4, capture here on h4, g takes h4, and now you have another tactic. If you like to play like Dubov, you should think about the tactics and um, what are you going to do? And a very nice move here is b5 because he would like to promote his plan to, to push forward the pawn and the problem is that if black captures, if he dares to capture here the bishop then we have a doom spell with rook d5 and uh, black will totally win the game because he is attacking the king and the bishop and uh, he doesn't have any other good moves, he played here on f4 and now you can find the final fantastic, fantastic blow. You, you can pause the video and calculate a little bit and try to find the best move for white. And white captures here the, the bishop on d3. This is a stunning game because every move is very, very strong and he doesn't have any other good moves. Now he should capture on d3, but uh, after b6 we can see that this pawn will promote with check and this is very, very important. And the black have uh, two fantastic and most fo very forward pawns, but he cannot do anything. After d2, for example, he can play king e2, h3, b7, and h2. Now black is threatening to create a new queen with check, and after that create another queen with a check again. 
but it's white star now and he give he gave a check on b8 this is a check king g4 and he can capture the pawn here then we will capture the other pawn and dubov will win this game his opponent resigned i hope you enjoyed this video try to calculate the tactics create tactics complicate the, the opening moves in order to confuse your opponent and this is the best way to play like daniel dubov thank you very much So, why you should become a member? This is an amazing opportunity to you to support the channel and gain access to exclusive perks. Well, it's not just about supporting the channel, it's about becoming part of the exclusive community. You'll be helping me to continue creating the content you love and in return you get some fantastic benefits. We have three membership levels, tolerated fit everyone needs. The gold the diamond and the platinum. Join us as a member is a great way to interact with me directly. You will get loyalty badges next to your name in comments, access to custom emojis and special discounts. I prioritize replies to members. Access exclusive videos available only for members to enhance your chess skills. The time to improve is now. On the platinum membership, plan you will get a chess course for free. So what you are waiting for? Click the join button to become a member today. Let's take this journey together to the next level and unlock these amazing perks.